Would you like to automate your social media? Would you like to automatically send out friend requests on Facebook? Would you like to send out messages on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, on LinkedIn? If you like to automate your social media, then this tool here is for you, right? Hey, what up, decisive marketers? We're going to be talking about zero work today. Now, this tool is a uh, I would say like a no code, no code tool, and it uh, it allows you to create what we call task boards. So it works kind of like a chat board, right? And um, it you and what happens is that you the bot is going to go through the different steps that you set up right and it's uh it sounds a little bit complicated but it's actually not very difficult to use right it took me maybe just uh like um maybe 10 15 minutes i kind of got what it's trying to do right so let's talk about task bot today right because uh, sorry zero work today now uh, before i dive into it be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so here we are in uh, zero work so this is the dashboard right here um, it's quite simple uh, because the main bulk of like where the action happens is in the taskbot itself right so you can create a new taskbot or you can you know have one of the ones that i've created right here so this is the first one right here which is to search a facebook page which is very simple um, i'm just going to going to show you what happens right here all right so this is going to open up facebook okay and then search for my facebook group and then you know look at the pages uh, it's not going to be accurate uh, maybe let's change this out uh, let's search for uh let's see let's see let's see um fashion okay let's try that Okay, so we're gonna search for fashion. We hit run, and let's see what's kind of what's gonna happen right here. Right, so um, I set this up. It's pretty simple. Okay, so it will take a while to load up Facebook. I guess Facebook's a little slow on my end. Okay, so this is where it is. Okay, so it opens up Facebook. Now it's going to wait for a while and then start searching on Facebook. You can see on the top left corner, right? It's going to search for uh, fashion. Now it's going down to pages, and then you can see like um, you know Facebook right here. Uh, I mean the fashion pages right here, right? So that is uh, literally uh, a very simple um, sort of. Uh, workflow right there right uh, you know the task bot workflow right there okay so uh you can schedule it you can run it okay so let me just kind of show you what happens okay so the first thing is uh, you can choose whether it's a link from the data table okay so maybe let's talk a little bit about the data table first so the data table it's very simple right it's basically uh you know a data table uh it's kind of like google sheets basically and you can save uh information you can save data into like uh, multiple columns and rows here that you can create like a table uh which is what they call it right here okay and then you you can save those information in there so that you can pull it out and you know put it into maybe like the text view or put it up for the uh link or uh, you know something else in here right okay so maybe you can save like Facebook profiles in there okay that could be something okay uh, okay so so let's jump in right so the first thing right here enter static link that could be from the data table itself we you can save uh, information into data table which is kind of like scraping I will show you how it works later on okay so static link and then we go it's going to open up Facebook Okay, and what happens right here it says keyboard tap right so this is basically the tap button on your keyboard so let me just kind of show you what happens if I go to Facebook right now okay it uh, it is uh, just when I press on the tap button okay uh, this is one time on the tap button this is the second time okay you can see like it's changing around here 
Okay, let me just kind of refresh the, the page again. Okay, so now it loads. Okay, you can see when I press tab once, it selects the Facebook logo on the top left. So if I press again, it goes into the search bar. If I press it again, it goes to the home, it goes to watch, it goes to marketplace, it goes to groups. Okay, so if you want to go to groups, you can just then what happens is that when I press on enter, it goes into the groups, right? So it is the same right here. So if I were to go back to the home page, okay, tap once, sorry, let me just refresh. Okay, if I click on I tap once, twice, it becomes it gets into the search bar and then I can start typing uh, stuff in there and start searching, right? So that's kind of how it works, right? So when I press tap twice, then it will start to enter fashion into the, the search bar right here. Then when I press on enter, it will search, right? And then, uh, so let's put in fashion right here. Okay, and then I press enter. Now, once it gets to this page, if I press on end, uh, tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's going to go into the pages, right? So if I want to, let's say, go into videos and just press 5, uh, you know, marketplace would be 6, uh, places would be 8, groups would be 9, uh, events would be 10, right? So if I want to maybe script certain information from, let's say, a certain event, people are attending okay so for example this one right here there's one person going which is obviously a little weird uh, you know then we can see who is going right so this person is going uh, this is probably the uh, organizer so I can I guess I can only see like friends who are going so this is another one okay so if I click here, then I can see who is going. Okay. So these are not my friends, but I can see who is going for the event, right? So this event is has something to do with some fashion event, right? So these people are going. So I can then you know scrape these people because I know that they are interested in fashion, right? So uh, if I want to do that, right? So I'm just going to show you now, like uh, I set up. This is kind of something that I went through based on that tutorial. So um, it's you, you know, if you check out the YouTube page, uh, you know, the, the, the YouTube channel, they do have a couple of videos that show you how to create this like search Facebook kind of thing right here. But of course, you know, I wanted to make sure that I do some, something a little bit better, right? <laughs> okay, so I am scraping uh, uh, Facebook groups members, okay? Facebook groups members. So this is uh, very simple. This is a Facebook group right here with, you know, 106,000 old people uh, right here, right? So this particular Facebook uh, page, okay, uh, <clears throat> 106,000 people. Um, I'm going to scrape this. I'm just going to show you how what happens, right? So I go, I, I enter the static link directly into this group speech. Okay. Then uh, I put a repeat. So it's going to repeat this particular action right here 20 times. Okay. 20 times. And then it's going to save into the data table right here, which I've created right here, which is called profile URL okay so I will actually grab uh, mem 20 members in here for their Facebook profile URL okay so that's kind of how it works right so what happens is when I I mean I've already run it but I can sh uh, maybe I just show you how it works so I have grabbed all the Facebook profiles uh, in here right so this is the first person this is the second. Uh, oops. Okay, so it's you know it's grabbed the profile in there. So I guess I didn't do it right because it's all the same. It's just being repeated. So I have to sort of improve on the CSS selector right here. So I could be wrong, but anyway, so I'm not doing a good job. 
so I would have to test this out a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can try again. Uh, let's see. Not sure, really sure. Okay, so I have to sort of improve on this. I'll I'll check this out, right? But what happens is, you know, I have to sort of script the first profile at least. So I need to definitely get better at this. But uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do right here. Uh, we can check at the the taskbar. So opening, that's quite straightforward. The website action. There's a couple of stuff right here that you can do. You can have, <coughs> you can have a click and insert. <coughs> Okay, so click you can you can have it click something right so uh, let, me, let me just kind of show you with a new task board uh, I'm just going to put uh, Facebook on here okay. right so uh, let's see okay so let's say I want to go into the friends okay friends right here so I, I, I want to have zero work click on friends okay so I'm gonna do that now okay so I'm gonna open link and add the static link right here and then uh, we will have website action right here and it's gonna click something right so uh, so what happens I'm just gonna put text in here uh, because then it's going to look for that particular text and click on it. So the text is friends. I'm going to save this. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. Uh, but I will need to put in my Facebook cookie in there so that it logs into my Facebook profile. Right? So to do that, you will need to install this uh, Chrome extension which is called Edit This Cookie. Right? It's called Edit This Cookie. You can just kind of Google it edit this cookie you can see it right here okay so all you need to do is to click on this and click on this one right here export and it says cookies copied uh, copy to clipboard right so we're going to paste that into the settings right here then click on validate workflow okay so uh, that's done we're going to click on run right now and it's going to launch the incognito window okay then it's going to go into Facebook then it's going to click on friends okay, it's going to load first wait a couple of seconds then click on friends can you see that all right so that is it goes of course you can make it pause a little longer if you want to uh, right here so you can set the delays in here and you can put minimum and maximum so it can it will kind of randomize the you know the, the time uh, before it starts kind of thing okay so uh, when it, and it comes in very handy when you are you know doing some kind of Facebook uh, I mean social media automation that's very important and I think zero work is really good for the social media um, automations right and then you can have insert text or data right so you can add content from the, tech, the data table as well so if you have some information you can just choose the column in there or you can just type whatever you want right hi you know and then you, all you need to do is kind of connect these together uh, and then you've got keyboard actions which is you can enter a specific keyboard key so like if you press enter it will press enter at the step okay and then you have the keyboard tap tap will be your tap button and how many times you want to click you want to press on the tap button to get to the item that you want to click on or, or, or you know click on here and then you have start condition so uh, you know uh, you can set some kind of conditions in here and then uh, you can have set condition okay so start condition right it's like sort of like a schedule I think I've not tested this uh, action out yet but set condition will be uh, you know if it's it fulfills a certain condition 
that it's gonna go left or right, something like that. Okay. And then start repeat. Okay, so uh so start repeat is what I did earlier, which is you know repeat twenty times if you can put in the own, define the own, put twenty or you can put the you know repeat for all rows or all selectors on the page. So I think I should have used this repeat for all selectors on page. I should have used this. Okay, so I guess I did the wrong. I use maybe I use the wrong, uh, you know, uh, element right here. Okay, then you got continue on the repeat. So so what happens like once you have you repeat here, right? You have a uh, you know start repeat. So it repeats, 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 and then once it's done, you can let's say you have a uh, you know repeat. Keyboard tap, maybe, which is a little bit stupid. But anyway, if you're done repeating, you can then move on to after repeat, and then you can continue from there. You can break repeat. You can send emails. You can request missing data. Upload, uh, update table cells. Remove duplicate rows. Calculate date. Send HTTP requests. Uh, let me just kind of move my camera over here so you can see the last couple of uh, elements in there. Right. So. It's a very simple tool, uh, but of course you do need to get used to it a little bit. Okay, uh, get used to it a little bit so that you can uh, create the kind of automations that you want, right? So the cool thing about Zero is that they do have a marketplace where you can uh, purchase workflows that's already done for you, or you can. Uh, you know, sell certain workflows that you created for yourself as well. Okay, so pretty much, I guess that's all I have to talk about uh, in terms of uh, zero work. But before I end off the video, right, I just want to say, like, what can you do with zero work? You can do a lot of stuff with it, but I think that where it is the most powerful will be social media automations, right? Um, you can use it, of course, to scrape certain websites as well. But I find that because of the way, I mean, the UI UX is, it, it follows a sort of a task board, you know, like a workflow structure, uh, as compared to, let's say, like, a, you know, point and click uh, web scraping tool, for example, Hexomatic. I would say that Hexomatic seems to be a lot easier to, for that purpose. As compared to zero work, but of course, because uh, you know zero work at the moment, uh, this tool works on your desktop. Okay, you do set up everything on the browser itself, but you have to install the client to run uh, from it, something like that. Okay, uh, but of course, they are also uh, down the line. They are going to add the you know. Uh, allow you to run on the cloud and you know you can put in a proxy to start running those automations uh, on the cloud uh, that means without you having to turn on your computer to run those automations right uh, that's uh, also for the point and click kind of automations uh, you know like hexomatic and all that uh, I would think that hexomatic is much better for that but of course because this runs on the desktop then this uh, is able to, you know, bypass like certain uh, protection, bot protection that certain websites have. So if you come across some websites that have very strong bot protection, then I think Zero would, would be able to bypass that. Uh, whereas Hexomatic will not be able to do that, right? So I think this is where uh, you know we where this video ends right so overall i think that zero work is a very good addition into my toolbox right because uh uh i i have uh Texel, which i i think i have reviewed it on the channel before so Texel is an amazing tool you know i can uh do a lot of social media automations with that but of course they don't have 
a lot of social media automations as well such as sending messages uh, and of course even if I were to be able to set up messages I don't think I can create a conversation right like a chat bot with it whereas I can do that with zero work so you know whatever uh, social media automations that Taxol is not able to do I can actually you know cover that with zero work to you know Taxol is going to save my time and we have to set up an entire uh, workflow on zero work but those uh, workflows I mean those kind of actions that I need uh, to be taken in social media uh, I can't do that with Toxel. I can do that with zero work, and uh, because there's uh, you know like certain start condition uh, in here, uh, you know I can uh, you know trigger them in certain ways, right? Which I think uh, you know this is where zero work comes in very handy. So I guess that's all I have to share about zero work. This video is a little bit long today, uh, but I think. It deserves the time that I give to it, <laughs> right? Because I think that this is definitely a very, a very powerful tool. Of course, you do need to spend some time with it to, you know, maximize the power of it. But, you know, you can let your creativity run with zero work right here. Okay, so I guess that's all I have to share about Zero Work. If you enjoyed this video, don't give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about Zero Work in the comments below. Lastly, if you know anyone who can benefit from Zero Work, be sure to share this video with them. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.